name is Malcolm Taberner and I get to be one of the elders in this congregation. Um, Bill caught me by surprise and said, I thought he was going to take me the way he usually does, so I'm going to excuse me while I try to find the right place. Uh, okay. It's so good to see you all here. You're all so welcome. So many smiling faces. It really is amazing. Uh, anyway, we're privileged this morning to have a young lady with us. A dawn or two, is what she's called. Um, she described it to me as stick the papa down, but ignore the papa. It's, it's a dawn. And it's over to us in the bobo. Okay? So. Would you like to just stand up for a minute or so? <laughs> and then we'll see you Thank you very much. She, she works for IJM UK and she is the Executive Scotland Church and Community Organisation. I should have that. Anyway, I'll, I'll let her explain what the job title means. Um, we've got a theme this morning, which is a one of the three everything we've got to do, and the theme is until all are free. And if you've supported IJM any time, then you'll recognise that phrase immediately. But it doesn't apply just to people who suffer exploitation of some kind. It applies to us all, because we worship a God who loves all of us and who stepped down into our world and gave for himself to make us all free, free from sin, free from worry. So whatever kind of week you've had, I would invite you to leave your burden here. Uh, in John's Gospel, chapter 14, verse 27, So I invite you to accept the peace that Jesus offers. I'm going to call on the band now to come up. And they're going to lead us in worship. We've got three songs that we're going to do together. So as they take their places, please, do whatever concerns you have, just lay them down. Be free to worship. Please stand if you can. If you prefer to sit, it's
Yes, exactly. I'm the angel Gabriel. I'm coming to bring you some news. Goody. We're going to have a baby. Oh, well, actually, Joseph and I have talked about this. We're going to have lots of want to dodge family. But not yet, because we're not married yet. No, you're already pregnant. What? Can't be. We're not married. We haven't, you know. <laughs> Joseph is not the daddy. God. God is the father. You're going to have God's son, and he's going to be the saviour of the world. Wow. It's exciting. Bye. She did the flowers oh, for years and years. She used to 
do lots of work with the flowers here. And just talking to Moira, she was a woman of great wisdom and just quite a special lady. And I just felt it was appropriate. So just, just for a moment, let's just give thanks. This is for people like Moira. So let's just pray. Father, we thank you for our church family here. We thank you that we are part of the body. And we thank you for every part in that body. And we thank you for Moira's life, for the quiet way and diligent way she works in the background. And we pray for her family and her friends now as they grieve for her. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Christine. Well, we'll continue with prayer. We pray for for us. So would you pray with me, please? Father God, we pray for IJM staff and the people they seek to rescue and rehabilitate. We pray for people who are suffering from the effects of natural disasters, and we think especially of people affected by the earthquake in Morocco. And also, we think of people who are suffering from man-made disasters, especially the brutality of war. We pray for people who have been forced to become refugees, living in camps with little or no hope of ever going home, often feeling left with no alternative but to undertake dangerous sea journeys in unsuitable boats. Father, we pray for people who suffer from unacceptable and unfair conditions imposed on them by autocratic, brutal regimes. And we pray for people who suffer from the greed and exploitation of the wealthy and corrupt, the wealth without a care for the social, environmental, ecological consequences. Consequences which hit harmless the people who are least able to cope. Father, we pray for people here in Scotland who struggle to make ends meet, who use food banks to put food on the table, people who find themselves in debt to unscrupulous lenders, people who are living in unfit housing and find themselves homeless. Father, we who are so fortunate to live in this place, lift all these people to you and ask them to intervene on their behalf until all are free. Amen. Um, I've been asked to tell you that um, Lesson 6 and 5 are available to pray with anybody who has a need for prayer after the service. So if you don't know them, if you just put your hand up, that's fine. Just before our scripture readings this morning, I want to give you an invitation. <laughs> as very many of you will know, we as a church and as a community have supported Macmillan Cancer Charity for many, many years, particularly through Friday Coffees, when Macmillan every year have their annual world's biggest coffee morning, uh, always held at the end of September. Since we no longer do Friday coffees, last year we decided to have an afternoon tea, which proved to be extremely popular. Let's face it, who doesn't like cake? There will, however, be coffee as well as tea. So we've decided to organise <coughs> another one of these. It will be Sunday, the 1st of October, 2.30 to 4.30, <coughs> here in the sanctuary. Um, all are welcome, it's by donations only, <coughs> so if you don't have very much, just come and please be part of this very special event. Invite family and friends, your neighbours, anybody who you think might like an afternoon tea in this place. Um, I just have one more request, and that is if there's anybody who would like or would be willing to bake for the event, or who actually would like to serve. Um, these are always special times. Would you please see me, or if, I'm not sure if Margaret's here this morning, but um, get in touch with myself or Margaret Scott, and uh, we'll take your details. Thank you. <clears throat> and now our scripture readings this morning. The Old Testament reading is taken from Psalm 97 and verse 2. Clouds 
and thick darkness surround him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. And the New Testament reading is taken from Luke chapter 4, verses 18 to 21. And Jesus is reading from the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. The scripture, the spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. He began by saying to them, Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Amen. Thank you so much for um, that reading. And yeah, I'm just so happy to be with you all. Such a blessing to be here. And as Malcolm said, my name is Dom and I lead our work with Scotland and IGM with our churches. So the reason that I always just say that's the way that you say my name is it's just easier than it being asked quite often. Oh, Adam's quite an unusual name for a woman. I'm like, so it's not Adam, but being able to say that it's popped on my little pop and that my last name is Boaty, like a phone company, is just really simple. Um, I'm actually from Aberdeen, so it's really nice to be home. Um, I feel like I'm kind of from all over Scotland. I'm originally from Ghana, we came to Glasgow, lived in Aberdeen, and now I'm living in Edinburgh, so I'm really kind of just making my way around Scotland at the moment. But I'm here today to be able to share with you, and just a thank you as well for just the incredible partnership. Um, that you have been a part of with the work of IGM, especially with our work in South Asia, which I'm going to be sharing on. And before that, I really want to just share a video with you that's really going to kind of cover the, the different stories that we're going to be speaking on, but also actually the incredible transformation that we're seeing and seeing God's work and power as well and the way that he wants to partner with us as rogue as that may be, as imperfect and as, inf as fallible as we are to see his work of justice and work. Um, in John 1, 5, it says, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. And so, yes, I share those stories there. And we see the different forms of darkness that we are seeing and they are very real. But like it says in this verse, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. The darkness will not overcome. And so we are able to celebrate because we know that the light will continue to shine. Children will continue to be able to be free, men and women brought to places of safety. And so in the next slide, as we go towards our 2030 goal, it's, pretty, it's a pretty big vision. And that is to be able to see millions brought to safety, protect half a billion, and make justice for people living in poverty unstoppable. And we've seen the power of partnership that we've seen that together we're able to do this. We, we can't do it alone, it's impossible. And that's what we've seen over the 26 years, over that vigil there, that it hasn't been just IGM on its own, that's been IGM with local authorities, with police, with church leaders, with church members, enacting this change and justice across, across the world. And so we know that it's possible to change the story, we know that the model works, We've been able to see this long journey of people being brought to transformation and nationwide transformation. And as a church, I feel really privileged to be able to say thank you for the way that you've all partnered. Thank you for how you have prayed and your generosity and your giving into this work and how much you care about this work. Even when I was just sitting here like a few times, you were so friendly coming over, so happy that, oh, this is like Jen, this is what you do. That is just the real joy that you have to see this work of transformation. So I want to thank you for the part that you have played in this story of justice that we are seeing. And so I know that you've been part of this as a church, many of you are part of this as individuals. And there's always different ways in which we can be involved. And so um, in the next slide, and at, at the end, it said, join the movement. And so what does that mean? I know I've shared these stories here You've, you know that you've been a part of that journey. We've seen the, the vigil there that have shared just incredible stories of transformation. 
how Rohan is part of that journey. So then how can we here in Bangri be part of that journey? And so there's different ways. And so that you can sign up, and I know that many of you already are getting updates about our work, but also being a prayer partner. You know, I talked about how prayer is really powerful and how at IGM, it, even my like, prayer journey was really challenged. And it made me realize that, you know, we really have to rely on God for everything. We know that we can't do this on our own. And we have been emboldened by our prayer partners. And so if you'd like to sign up to be a prayer partner, please do let me know and sign up and pray for justice. And you know, as we continue to join together and celebrate for those prayers and for those miracles that have come, we also um, talk about being a freedom partner as well. And so being a freedom partner is coming together on that journey in a more regular basis of giving. Now many of you in the room I think all already are, but it's a deeper way to be able to continue to, to pray with us and be generous in that journey. And so just your giving could mean that children like Krishna, children like Sadi are able to we're continue we're able to continue to be with them on that journey of healing, able to be planning for our rescue operations. Because we know that a world without slavery, it is in reach, you know, um, it was an individual there, but we've been able to celebrate over the 26 years that eight, over 85,000 people have been brought to safety today. Now that's incredible, considering in the past year there had been over 9,000 people that had been brought to safety, so that is over 9,000 children, women and men who will never have to experience that in the first place. And so I'd love to invite you personally to be able to partner in with that. But like I say, I really believe that who our prayers and our belief and our faith, knowing that God is an act of change, is our most precious investment into this journey. And we are seeing victory and we are seeing transformation. And so, and yeah, I'd love you to invite you to join the movement, love you to continue praying with us. And I just want to say again, uh, just a massive thank you for the way that you already have been. And whenever I see even those pictures there, um, that you can see there of hands joining together, they're all survivors and we're able to continue on that journey with them. We're able to thank God for the way that he is moving. And so, yeah, I'd just like to invite you within that. And I think I may have slightly gone over time, but I'd love to also invite Stuart to just, if he's, I know I'm like looking around like you're not here, but you were on worship, so I don't think you were. <laughs> just to chat a little bit about why he is a freedom partner just before, just as we come to a little bit of a end. Yeah, um, Emma and I both became freedom partners probably kind of five years ago. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's not that complicated. I think so what IG was doing, we loved how well it was done. We loved it. Was the center of it, and I think it's just good to give. So, if you guys feel stirred about it, see it today, um, give. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So, I always think it's powerful to be able to actually hear why you became a freedom partner, why I became a freedom partner, because we, I may be biased as part of the IGF team, but I heard about IGF sitting in a church 10 years ago and know that we're able to really partner really powerfully. So, thank you yeah. so much. It was so good to see it as well. I mean, you've got a bunch of lawyers. Yes. 
and the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Please stay around the tea and coffee and fellowship.